<laughs> Dread it. Run from it. The world record being beaten by Steve still arrives. No matter how hard you try, no matter how good of a run you have, Steve still arrives. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Firebase Z world record speed run in 22 minutes and 59 seconds, a full minute off of the previous time. Literally, how? I don't understand. I messaged him. I said, hey, Steve, uh, first of all, can I can I react to this? I want to make sure I ask permission. Uh, but second of all, how? And he said he didn't want to spoil the surprise. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, before we get started here, reminder, today is literally the second to last day that you can pick up the Self Revive Club merch drop number two, the Got Raygun merch drop. If you guys have not already picked it up, please Go ahead and go pick it up. It is uh, absolutely imperative that you pick this up uh, before before time runs out because it will never be available again. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're ready to hop in. We're ready to go. And we're ready to watch the world record. I'm so... I, dude, I just... I literally don't understand. I don't... I, I'm, glad it, I'm glad it happens to all of us. I, and not and not just me. I, I literally can't wait. I actually cannot wait to see how this man manages to to beat it by a minute. Like that is an unbelievable. I mean, obviously he's gonna pull it out of the box. That I mean, there's literally no way that he doesn't pull it out of the box and do it like really, really early. I, I'm gonna guess by hit number three. I'm gonna guess by hit number three he pulls it out of the box. Well, then this is actually kind of a lit spot right here. That's manipulating the zombie spawns very nicely. Wait, I just realized! Wait, what? Wait, what? He's playing in English! Wait. I'm so confused. How? I'm actually so incredibly confused. How has he managed to beat the world record in English? The, the text lines literally go faster in Japanese. Ha, what did he do? What did he do to manage to do this? I literally don't understand how he's managed to do this. I'm actually in disbelief right now. Like, if, if, if I didn't know it was Steve, I would literally think that this is like manipulated clickbait. To beat the world record by an entire minute on the English version. How? He doesn't have a great amount of points right here, to be completely honest with you. Wait, what is he doing? Did, does he know this? Does he know some spawn manipulations that that the rest of us don't know? Undead hostile eliminated. Obviously, that's a. I, I mean, that's not even that much better of a spawn manipulations. I guess it's better for the shotgun though. Whoa! Whoa! That lag. Oh my goodness, that lag. <laughs> Whoa! -wee. That's it. That's it. Runs canceled. Time's over. It's invalidated. Uh, it's over. It's done. Man, he got really good generators, too. I love that Steve uses this little, like, jump knife method to to do, like, a quick knife animation. I really, really like that. That's enough. It's pretty cool. Okay. tricks like that that is such an insane trick he got that so he literally doesn't have to reload i mean the the the, the luck is pretty god tier so far i'm not gonna lie yeah okay so he's obviously not building it i mean we haven't even got like despite all of this we haven't even gotten to the lucky part yet this this is literally all of this part of the run pales in comparison to what happens whenever he pulls the rake you know what i mean all of this pales in comparison to what happens. 
I love that little jump technique, dude. I need to use that more. There's the double point. So he, he gets a double point generator explosion, which is obviously a, a huge, huge boost of points. A double point generator explosion is worth 2,000 points rather than 1,000 points. So it's really, really good. Does he grab the points out of here? He does not. Okay, so he's he's just gonna run this run this in normally. He also doesn't do the stop sprinting technique as much as uh, as much as I've seen it in everyone else's runs. He does a little bit more often. So aside from that one jump, nothing is is standing out as being super super insane so far. Aside from the fact he's playing on English, the fact that he's playing on English is like it just blows my mind because how? It's literally faster to have it on, uh, on Japanese. It's literally faster. So he's he's gonna use this technique to to basically like lay down on the floor and activate the, the audio attack. early. Yep, he does so that. Where the hell is he? where is so let's see. This part of the run is basically you just kill right zombies. Now. He's gonna, oh no, he's gonna try to spawn in the mimic there maybe to get some extra. Wait, why are these mimic parts out here like this? Why is it like, I've never seen that spawn happen there before. So he definitely, he definitely wants as much salvage as he can get right now. He actually almost died there. He almost got trapped and double, double swiped. Okay. Oh. Okay, I was wondering what he was gonna do there because he wasn't getting the audio, he wasn't getting like the talking cue for Peck. I guess if you enter at the right time, you get a guaranteed version of it. So there's stamina up. Bro, I can't wait to see how he manages to cut an entire, like, I really can't wait to see how he manages to cut an entire minute. There's gotta be some sort of crazy trick that we've never seen before coming up. Cause it's a clean run so far, but it's not like the most insanely, like insane out of this world run so far or anything like that. You know what I mean? It's good. Don't get me wrong. It's a clean run, but it's not like there's nothing insanely faster about it. There's a couple second time save about uh, with doing the ether strap through the wall, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, no sort of weird dialogue skip so far. Anything like that. Everything is pretty, pretty normal. Gonna grab a vial number two. He's gonna head out here. I'm, I'm wondering. Okay, so he uses the same route that I take, and he actually fell off. <laughs> you see that little head shake? <laughs> He's not happy about that. Uh, yeah. The uh, he. I I always think that that route's faster. I see different speedrunners do it in different ways, but I always think that 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 route is actually faster. So let's see what he does here. Anything special? Is he gonna like ether shroud through the gate and it like launches him into that area faster? No, he's just going as as normal. And I, th this means I have to use the effing gallo again, dude. I hate using the gallo, but I always use the same weapon that the world record speedrunner is currently using, either the M16 or the gallo. And he's using the gallo, so I guess it's gallo time for me again. Woo! They're literally the funniest enemies of all time. I don't understand why they did it like that, but it's so good. Oh, okay, so he kills zombie there. And he's gonna eat the shroud back through the wall. He was once a leader in his research. I, I, that seems like maybe it's a few second time save, but it's not like an insane time save. In the corner. It doesn't seem like a, a super super insane time save. It's a good it's a good save, but. Oh, so now he's going to hit the. Uh, now he's going to hit the the box. So this is where this is all of this. Literally doesn't matter. Everything that he's done so far doesn't matter unless he gets the red K out of the box here. He's probably done this part of the, the thing so many times. Stoner. Also, I see a lot of you. This is one thing that I see in general. Okay, so he didn't get it on his second hit. I guess what? Third hit? I think I guess third hit for it. Oh, I was wrong, dang it. I've seen a lot of people say like, Noah, in order to get the world record speedrun, you should use uh, the RPG or the stoner or something like that. Like that's the fastest way to kill the boss. And the answer is basically yes. Bro. Okay, so he knew, he knew. 
I mean, he probably didn't know, but he he probably guessed that that was the uh, the thing. But he realizes he has to go. He has to go back. Okay, so he is about to. Okay, so Ryan, one, two, three. So about three seconds of time wasted right there, getting back a little bit late. About three seconds of time waste. Not very much, but three seconds of time wa uh, of time waste. To the mold. Right there. All right, nothing, nothing crazy, but about three seconds of waste. So th there's got to be some sort of insane, insane strategy, man. There really does. But the portal. Okay, so he's so he, he's manipulating the spawns a little bit to keep all the zombies in an area. Hit the box again. This has to be where he gets it, man. This has to be where he gets it right here. This hit. This hit. I'm guessing this hit. They're all dead. More infected. The sentry gun? Wait, he's still playing it out? Wait, what? Bro, he's still playing it out. Despite not getting it in a good spot, he's still playing it out. So he's really just banking. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, th this is something new. This is something that we haven't seen before, but it's not necessarily better. It's just more unlucky. Do you know what I mean? Uh, the mimic. He didn't even good. He didn't even good good mimic RNG. What does he do? What does he do to get to beat the world record by so much? He didn't even good good mimic RNG. He got like a, an okay mimic RNG. Oh, that's sick! Oh my God, that saves so much time. That actually saves so much time right there. What he just did saves so much time. And you know why? Because it doesn't require you to really whittle the health down over time. You just trap it and you start knifing it and it gets to the perfect HP. That's so smart. Is that really the difference? Oh, that's a cool way to hop that railing to, to not lose too much time on that. Okay, so he got bad mimic RNG off the start. He's now gonna get uh, this spot up here. Anyway, any second now. All right, and does he get this room? No, he doesn't even, have, dude. Dude, that's so smart. That is so smart. And he's gonna use the sentry turret that he got from the box. Okay, so time pauses because he paused. Time pauses. Wait, he's ring of firing here? And, and he has the nuke. Dude, of course. It's like Shadows of Evil, man. It's like Shadows of Evil. It comes down to round manipulation. We were all too worried about getting the right gun at the right time in the Ray K. Steve is out here saying, F that. I'm going to manipulate the rounds better than anyone else. I'm going to manipulate the rounds better than anyone else can. Wow, and that was the round two. That was such a fast round eight. Of course, dude. Of course, I should have known. I should have known that that was Steve's plan all along. The round manipulation of it is really what is really the difference maker. Okay, so he opted to, to shoot that one. Okay, you got it. Perfect health. That was a risky shot. I don't even think he needed it. Little risky there. It's the it, dude. The speed at which he's catching the mimics, and then the speed at which he ended that round that you have to end. Of of course, dude. Of course, that's that's how it went down. So now he's just gonna kill zombies as quickly as possible here. Save a few at the very very end, just for the uh, just for the culture of it. I guess technically with this strategy, you don't like because because I I'm so used to running the strategy where you do the building the reke. You know what I mean? And build. Oh. That okay. He's gonna grab this fire sail. 
gets the memory disk right away. If this works, we should be able to recover. And does he even get to? Oh no, he's gonna get to use it at least once up here. Does he get it out of the fire sale? Bro, this is what I was saying, man. This is the difference maker when you have a run like this. So he, he has what, two hits? And there it is. And there it is. Literally not a single second of time loss in this entire Easter egg, except for that three second loss. He has literally done this as humanly fast as possible. Uh, and the only human difference, the only human difference that he could do is already as fast as it can be because of the round manipulation. So he's just going to go ahead and progress the round because why not, right? He's going to grab the shovel. He's going to... Dude, the fact that he's doing it on English too. I'm so confused. I can't wait to see his boss fight. I can't wait to see his boss fight. It's always something. Maybe Peck can still prove useful. Heck, we need to stabilize the portal. All right. Dude, dude does that mean we all have to go back to English too? I, I don't know. Is that what this means? Are we back to English on this on this speed run? How much time does it actually save? So he's just killing zombies for scrap and for points right now. Because he needs to get enough to double pack a punch. He needs to get enough to double pack a punch. That's his that's his main objective right now. Alright, good. Good stuff so far. I know some soldiers have been stealing crystals to sell on Black Hunt. Oh, he crafted through the wall. <laughs> he crafted through the wall. <laughs> That's so funny. So he has two Molotovs. Why is he getting Molotovs? Dude, I just feel like if this was on Japanese. It could be even faster. I don't know. Wouldn't have gone through the day without him. He also had Dr. Gray as his announcer. But he's with Maxis, and that's what counts. I think. I think, right? This is also a new route. This is also a new route right here. But again, you can only do this route if you're not doing the build the Reike strat. If you're building Reike, you cannot do this route. Oh, this saves so much time too. This saves so much time between the mimics and then that round eight manipulation. Bro, how is anybody gonna beat this? I do, I, everything has gone perfectly aside from that three second time loss. So what, someone can get three seconds better? Bro, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a good strategy to use a Molotov on the Hellhounds. So he's gonna purposely not kill the, uh, not kill the zombie here. He's gonna save it. It's funny that the, the, the hellhounds would actually die to a Molotov too. And he's gonna do this part extremely fast, it seems like. Because doing, the faster you do this part, the faster it ends. Because it, I think it's based off killing uh, the last mangler and everything like that. So the faster you do it, the faster everything spawns. That should be it after that hellhound right there. Oh no, maybe one more. Okay, done. Bro, this route is, it's like so easy, but everybody gets like looped into the same round. And that, the, the jump through the wall is so useful too. He's not even gonna waste time on that, on that jug. You don't need jug for this Easter egg. When you're speeder on this bad boy, Oh, let's, oh, this is the other part. I forgot about this. How fast does he find the right? Okay, well, I mean, that, that that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good time right there. <laughs> Literally the third one that you check and it, it's, it's just a pure time loss or save depending on how lucky you get. And he's already gonna activate this thing. Oh my God, going into the boss fight this early, it's just nuts. He needs. To, oh, that double point might have just saved his life right there. 
that double points might have just saved his life right there. Because he needs 20k points or else he's not going to get world record. He needs 20k points. That's not an option. That's not an optional thing. If you believe my deception, Of course not. Alright, so he's not going to get 20k points, but he transferred the round before... Wait, what is he doing? Oh, he's, he's buying his missile or whatever. What is he going to pick? Cruise missile. Okay, the final test. Does the cruise missile split? Does it split? He was considering going to pack a bunch right there, but you actually just want to pack a bunch. Uh, you actually just want to pack a bunch once you've uh, activated the uh, rocket. I can't believe he's playing on English. Bro, I think I think either way, even if English is like not a time save at all, or playing on Japanese isn't a time save, I'm still gonna do it because I, I love hearing the, the Japanese voice actors. They're so good. So he needs what, like 300 more points? Yeah, so he's got the 20K points he needs to pack a punch. He's good to go on that. He has the monkey bomb, which he's gonna use to do the, uh, to do the, uh, what's it called? Uh, he's gonna throw it out and then do the satellite alignment thing. Also, he has Dr. Gray, who has some of the fastest voice lines, because, like, Major Carver at this point can cost you, like, eight seconds because he just has longer voice lines than Dr. Gray. There it is. And there it is. That that's that's all the time save you can possibly do. So now he needs to go double pack a punch and get ready for boss fight. And he's in it. Bro, I, I how is someone gonna beat this time? I literally don't know. I, what, what did he say in the comments? Because right now it's it's just waiting. When Kingman got a 24 run, uh, I had to do go RNG box strat to world record, and I was losing after five days with only one Ray K from the box and a glitch mimic step on that attempt. But happy I got the first sub 23. First two mimics are easier with the scrappy crappy's uh, idea to knife. Ask me anything below. Thanks for watching. I'll obviously make sure y'all go subscribe to Steve if you haven't already. So the, the strategy of knifing the mimics, I, I kind of did that a little bit, but I didn't think to ju just use it as a strategy. Knifing the mimics after trapping them is genius, though. It's actually genius. That's it, strike team. Get back to the OPC. <laughs> Shut up, Weaver. <laughs> We're already in the cutscene, Weaver. Ah, uh, yes, a, a fellow, a fellow park main, fellow park mains rise up. We love to see it. Come on, Maxis. Get on out of there, sister. Bro, I. I don't know, man. I don't think I... The fact that he got one, two Ray Ks in five days. He got one, and then the Mimic Step glitched out, which it does, like, all the time. Mimic Step just glitches out. And uh, and then and then he got a second one, and he got a sub-23. It's insane. The guy's skill is literally unbelievable. It, it, the guy's skill is literally unbelievable. It's insane. I do, I do really like the uh, the idea of separating the world record into multiple categories. Like, I, I really, really like the idea of there's a world record category for you have to build the Reiki and get the Reiki from the, the Wonder Weapon, build the Reiki Easter Egg. And I really like the, the Easter Egg being a, a strat where you can do anything you want. You know what I mean? I like the two categories, different rules. I prefer that personally. I think it's I think it's way way better. I think it's way way better. All right, here we go. Let's see his boss fight. It's time. So obviously this is the any percent world record boss fight. Oh, he popped that early, dude. I love how there's no audio right when you start to. Woo! That is clean. He barely missed a bullet, and he got some extra ones right there. And here we go. He got the missile to fire. Dude, that's so random. I don't understand what makes it work sometimes and not work other times. And there it is, man. 22.59. That's insane. That's wild. Literally wild. Out of this world, insanely wild. Freaking GG, man. Unbelievable. Let's look at some of the comments on this while the cutscene's playing. Um, 
Man, box, box RNG is hard this map. Why the Ray K gotta be so well, uh, rare? I hope everyone's doing well. Thanks for watching. I can sense that Noah's having a good time right now. Steve, I'm sorry I don't speak Japanese. The fact that you don't need to change the language to cut your time off your run shows you the real goat. I mean, true. Noah, Japanese is the fastest language to do this in. Steve, I am speed. It begs the question, how the hell is Steve doing this? Dude, for real. Noah, it's react. It's time to react. Steve, yes, honey. <laughs> when he missed that zombie so much around one, he probably said, runs dead. 100%. If Steve was talking, if he talked in his videos, he would have said, runs dead right there. I'll, I'll shave my head if Noah doesn't look in the comments. Dang it, I shouldn't have looked. Knifing on the mimic step is cracked. Noah, I hope you all enjoyed this run. It was really hard. Noah J, it's free real estate. True. Noah's going to be so mad you did it in English. True. Relaxing Noah uh, after no one is beating Earth on speed run. Steve, I don't think so. Dude, literally insane. Noah has a peaceful morning. Steve, guess what? Noah softly don't. Yep. It's basically, basically, basically my entire... Re you guys know me too well at this point, man. My, my entire reaction summed up. Entire Easter egg done. In an unbelievably fast amount of time. GG's, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. This is the world record. Again, I know I, I've said this before, but no one's beating this one. It's over. It's done. The category's dead. Forever. No one will ever beat it. Steve, the goat, has arrived, and he has claimed a stake. With that being said, hope everybody enjoyed it. Hope everybody had a good time watching. I'm going to watch this guy's eyeball get poked out, and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace.